Hey, I'm Lauren from TastyPC.TV. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison of the airflow of 10-120mm case fans using a fog machine. Now I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I was hoping to have it uploaded a couple of days ago but unfortunately the house has been very loud due to construction and I have to film the fog test at night so you can see the fog and that's very difficult when everyone's sleeping. So it's being filmed out of sequence and I'm sorry that it's not been uploaded when I said it would have been. But um, So how the fog test works is you get a box, you put in a fog machine, you cut 120mm hole, you put a fan over the top and that allows you to see the air characteristics of that fan. Um, now having already done the test I should warn you that the fog likes to favour the left side of the fan but I think that's probably due to how the fog moves inside the box and as all the fans have been filmed under the same condition it shouldn't affect our ability to be able to compare. Um, so I'm also going to be doing more smoke footage for the Noctua NF F12 versus the Silverstone Air Penetrator AP121 comparison part 1 video that hopefully should be uploaded in the next couple of days. So this is the second video I've ever done and feedback is greatly appreciated and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. So now it's time for the conclusion, I should start by mentioning that this test isn't the most scientific or precise, but it will let you see whether a fan has been designed to focus airflow or just move as much air as fast as possible in any direction. So I did this test by running the fog machine for 10 seconds for each fan, turning the fan on at the 4th second, but unfortunately this doesn't ensure that each of the fan gets the exact same amount or density of smoke. So as a general rule, the more focused a fan is, the quieter it is and the more efficient it is, especially on water cooling radiators. So another problem I had with this test is some of the fans were so powerful that they exhausted the air with such force that it created the illusion they were actually more focused than they are. So there's not a lot I can say about the majority of these fans as they performed exactly as you would expect. Now the Noctua and the Silverstone fan I'm going to be analysing in detail in the upcoming comparison video, so I'm not really going to talk about them now, but the footage should give you a rough idea of how they performed. So one of the fans that really surprised me is the Bitfenix Spectre Pro, which according to our results has got the second most focused airflow of all the fans I tested. So here are some photos that I took of the test for easy comparison.
So I hope you found that comparison video helpful. If you liked it, please subscribe, and I always appreciate feedback. The next few uploads I'm going to be doing are on fans, but once they're out of the way, I'm hoping to move on to other components. I've also ordered a microphone, so you only have to put up with this one for the next few videos. So thanks for watching.